Each of us are great fans of the Street Fighter franchise. We as a community love and cherish the arts and characters that Street Fighter has given us. The variety of characters makes us pick our favorites for battle. We might not know their moves and their style of play, but do we know their origins or story? In this episode, we're going to focus on the timeline of Rose. What is her background and where is she now? You might be in for a surprise. Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Street Fighterverse. In Street Fighter Alpha 2, according to fandom, a fortune teller from Genoa, Rose sensed that Doomsday was approaching and that a person of great evil was causing it. She found the source of evil in M. Bison and defeated him, believing that she had rid the world of him for good. Unfortunately, by reading her tarot cards, she discovered M. Bison was still alive. Sometime before facing M. Bison, she somehow encountered Akuma, noticing that his power was the same power Ryu used in his fateful Shoryugen against Sagat. Akuma promptly told her to leave, but reacted with anger after Rose realized who Akuma was, telling her to perish. The two fought and Rose was able to survive the battle. In Street Fighter Alpha 3, Rose learned that, despite being a natural-born human, she shared some of M. Bison's soul. Facing M. Bison once more, she rammed her fist through his chest and channeled all of her soul power into his body, to no avail. Rose, passed out from complete exhaustion, was soon to be found by Guy who she met earlier when she was pursuing Shadow Lu. When M. Bison was eventually defeated by Ryu, destroying his body in the process, Bison's soul went to the Psycho Drive. Charlie sacrificed his life in an attempt to destroy it, but was unsuccessful. Bison then made Rose a temporary host of his soul by entering her body. At some point during the events of Street Fighter Alpha 3, a young man named Maggio appeared in front of Rose and asked for help with searching for his sister, Abril. Rose took him on as an apprentice, teaching him her power. In Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, M. Bison's soul stayed in and controlled Rose's body, until a new, albeit weaker body was made for him. Akuma supposedly killed M. Bison during the Second World War tournament with a raging demon, which would destroy his soul. What became of Rose during this time was largely unknown, but the Street Fighter 4 training guide revealed that Rose was still alive during this time, but had no memory of what had happened to her while being possessed by M. Bison. In the Street Fighter 4 series, upon learning from her tarot cards that M. Bison had somehow survived Akuma's raging demon, Rose enters the new tournament. Her cards also revealed the Fool, a card which, in this case, symbolizes reckless heroism and determines that the person represented by this card is the only hope for defeating M. Bison. She also decides that this person cannot defeat M. Bison until the stars align and that she must protect him until such a time. However, she knows that she cannot defeat M. Bison herself, as she possesses the same power he has. During her participation in the tournament, she runs into Ryu, dead set on stopping his advancement for his own protection, stating that he is the last hope. This results in a fight with much reluctance from both parties. In her ending, M. Bison ambushes her and grabs hold of her face, taking back what little power of his remained in her, and awakening the memories of what he did while he was in her body, as well as visions of the horrific acts he would continue to do. When finished, he lets her live and leaves her unconscious, saying that she will make excellent fodder for his insatiable spirit. Rose's ending is directly tied to Guy's, in which he confronts M. Bison and demands that he hand Rose over or he would destroy his jet his only source of escape. M. Bison reluctantly agrees, and Guy holds his part of the bargain and allows him to escape. Rose wakes up to the side of Guy and decides that there is still work left for her to do. In Street Fighter V, at some point, Rose takes on another apprentice, a young Egyptian girl named Minat. Minat is a slim woman with dark skin and green eyes. She has short dark purple hair styled into a bob with blunt bangs covering her entire forehead. She wears a soft purple lipstick and eyeshadow. She can act a bit empty-headed at times, yet she has a polite but serious attitude. She travels the globe to convey various premonitions. At times, she can appear childish, energetic, and bubbly. She can be annoyed towards certain people as well. Rose makes cameo in Nash's character story as a queen card and appears as a silhouette in Manat's character story. She can also be seen in Manat's ending in the Street Fighter V arcade edition. Rose also makes a cameo in Jesus' character story. In her character story, she spars with Manat, who loses her battle regarding about her words. Rose decides to travel around the world and letting Manat to stay guard. On her travels, she meets up with Oro regarding about the premonition she had. After defeating G in a match, 
Gross predicted a future involving the entire world in some unspecified way involving him. Despite his well-meaning demeanor, as soon as returns, Manat finds her exhausted, leading her to prepare for her bath. While bathing, Rose tries to think about how to stop the destruction of the world, not by looking to the future, but rather to the past. If she were able to contact her past self, then she might be able to prevent the calamity and start over from zero. Rose is a fortune teller from the town of Genoa, Italy. Rose's personality is sophisticated and intelligent. She has a very calm temple and is not easily prone to anger. She is respectful to all things as she is also wise. Rose is also a teacher to her apprentice, Minat. She states that power is nothing without skill. She must continue her path even if it means giving up her life for the greater good. Rose's character design is slender, with long dark purple hair. Her hair is drawn in a zigzag bent pattern. She also has violet colored eyes. She wears a dark colored stocking with high heels and a red gown with a large yellow scarf, which she uses to channel her soul power. Her soul power is unique to Rose. It's the power she possesses for good. But what is the soul power? The soul power is a force that changes mental power into physical power. The soul power is like the key force. Key is the life force that basically acts as energy or stamina. The body controls this key to turn it into chakra, where you can channel its energy through objects, having the ability to use them as weapons. The user can also release different types of concentrated energy that could stun opponents. Rose, in this case, can use its power to project temporary copies of herself, the same type of technique used by Naruto, which is his shadow clone jutsu. Rose has been shown to use her soul energy with her scarf. The user of this ability is also capable of causing his or her opponent hallucinations. In Street Fighter Alpha, the animation, Rose could wrap the very aspect of time itself. When Rose is asked how she obtains such power, she does not say much. According to some information I found, she has learned how to use the soul power for several years from a person she calls the Master. The Udon comic shows the Master characteristics, having a glowing yellow lightning bolt on her forehead and a very similar hairstyle of Rose. Rose's soul power is the inverse of the psycho power which is mostly popularized by M. Bison. While the psycho power, as stated by M. Bison in Street Fighter V, is fueled by hatred, anger, fear, and despair, it's possible that Rose's soul power might be fueled by the opposite, like for example, love, hope, calmness, and happiness. The soul power possibilities are endless. That is why it is very important for the wielder to understand its power for them to use it for good. In Rose's Street Fighter Alpha's backstory, her former teacher warned that Rose would one day step into the battlefield, and that soul power is Rose's powerful weapon, and insurmountable weakness at the same time. Rose's tarot cards have an additional link to her soul power, as seen when Rose quickly changes after battle using an enlarged The Fool card. It is also possible for her to seal evil energy within, presumably blank tarot cards. Despite her fortune-telling ability, she cannot see the fate of a person from the future, such as the case with Ingrid. In Street Fighter Alpha, the animation, the Alpha manga series, the cartoon series, and the Udon comics, Rose is the embodiment of Bison's other half. She can turn into a soul and is able to manipulate space, use telepathy, as well as sense the globe around her. She also gains immunity to evil powers, such as Satsui no Hado and Psycho Power. Given Rose's design and fighting style inspirations of Lisa Lisa from the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure series, it is likely that Soul Power is intended to be the Street Fighter counterpart to Ripple. Rose can use her Soul Power in a different variety of moves, such as the Soul Illusion, one of Rose's super combos, introduced along with her in the Street Fighter Alpha series. In Street Fighter V, this move becomes Rose's second V-trigger. Rose creates after images of herself that copy her normal attacks. The effect lasts until a predetermined amount of time expires, or Rose is hit. Soul Reflect is also one of Rose's special attacks, introduced along with her in the Street Fighter Alpha series, executed by performing a quarter-circle backward motion and pressing punch. 
Rose swings her scarf at a certain angle. The move's function is determined by the punch button pressed. The light punch version works for absorbing projectiles, while the other versions work for reflecting them. Light punch version absorbs energy-based projectiles and gives the super combo gauge a decent boost while also powering up her next soul power projectile attack based on the number of projectiles absorbed. Soul Spark is Rose's signature move. Introduced in the Alpha game series, Rose uses her scarf in which she channels soul power and launches a projectile towards her opponent. The speed of the Soul Spark is very similar to Guile's sonic boom speed. Her Soul Spark can also be performed doing a neutral or forward jump. Our Soul Spark is a stronger version of the Soul Spark, strong enough to break Akuma's Shanugetsu Hadouken. The Illusion Spark is executed by pressing two quarter circle forward motions and all three punch buttons. Rose proceeds to extend her scarf towards the opponent. If it hits, the scarf will wrap around the opponent's arm. Rose sends then a massive surge of soul power through the enemy, while shouting the Ultra Combo's name, dealing a large amount of damage. Other powers include the Soul Satellite, Soul Spiral, Soul Throw, Soul Punish, Aura Soul Throw, and the Fate Aura Spark. Street Fighter character Minot is a practitioner of the soul power. She is also a fortune teller from Egypt that resides in the Palazzo Mistero in Italy, which translated means the Palace of Mystery. Even though Seth is not a practitioner, Seth can replicate the soul power with his tandem engine. Rose's soul power is like SNK's Athena Asamiya's power from the King of Fighter series. Her physical abilities are based on the Marvel comics Psylocke's. Oddly enough, these characters share the basis of their colors being purple. Capcom also found inspiration in the hands of Marvel Comics for most of their characters. Rose is also the first Italian fighter to be in the Street Fighter Alpha series, and the third female character in the series after Chun-Li and Kami. Also, Rose is the first fighter in Street Fighter history that can manipulate an enemy's projectile by absorbing and reflecting it. A random fact is that Rose's stage in Street Fighter Alpha, Warrior's Dreams, is based on the stage Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris filmed their iconic battle on the set of the movie Bruce Lee's Way of the Dragon. They even included the stray cats on the background on Rose's stage, cats that have also appeared on Bruce Lee's Way of the Dragon film. If we look into the Street Fighter V story mode of Rose, we can appreciate that in her own words, she states that the answer lies not in the future, but in the past. We must stop the seed of evil from ever taking root. This statement favors the theory of time travel. It will be focused on going back in time and trying to stop evil at an earlier timeline within the Street Fighter universe. Also, it has been revealed that Rose is stuck in a time loop trying to stop M. Bison. In her story mode, Rose states that she's the only one who can stop this. She's the only one who has that ability. This could be an indication of Rose's future self, giving her past self the clues on how to stop it, and to stop what you might be asking. In her encounter with G, they both have the same vision, which is the end of everything, as G states that it is our fate, the same fate as all my earthlings, and the same fate of the entire universe. From this small glimpse, clearly, we can find that G and Rose are not on the same path. Rose is trying to save humanity, whereas G, clearly wants the world to take its own course. But who is G? And what does he play in the picture? Earlier in Rose's storyline, Oro states about G, I don't sense any evil of imbalance. But on the other hand, I do sense vibrations that are one with nature. Rose agrees with Oro, and she also states that, however, it is an overwhelming force of nature and very difficult for me to ignore. Rose's pre-fight scene with G states that the card drawn for him is the Fool. The Fool is the first card of the major arcana and represents the person seeking the knowledge or advice from a tarot reader. The Fool isn't necessarily foolish, just inquisitive, a positive card indicating new beginnings. This describes G and his motives. He might not be necessarily evil, rather than just a force of nature. So what did you like about this episode? Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new theories and info. Thank you for watching. This has been your Street Fighter host. Welcome to the center stage. By the way, if you would like to donate or simply get us a coffee, we would like to inform you that sure you can at ko-fi.com slash streetfighterverse. We are grateful for every single one of you. You guys make this possible. And for that, we thank you.
our new Discord server. There you can talk with us, chat about current events going on in Street Fighter, information, theories, and lore. We'll leave the link in the description box below. We want to thank everyone for tuning in and becoming part of the Street Fighter community. We want to thank you for your positive comments towards our channel because it only habilitates us to grow even more. From the Street Fighterverse crew, we thank you.